Um, but really what I want to get back to is the idea that a lot of programming, a lot of computer programs, what they do in terms of the problem they solve is they provide information to the user. And so what we're going to look at is one of the simple things we have to be able to do if we're going to write a program that's going to provide information to a user, and that's the ability to display text. Yep. So in Python, we do that with the print command. Uh, very simple, uh, basic command. So if you go take a look, you've got the, uh, you know, you've got a print statement there that allows you, and the print statement is a command, mm -hmm. and then you have parentheses surrounding. So these parentheses are essential. You have to have parentheses surrounding the statement or that you want to print on the screen. Uh, the other thing you're going to notice here is if you take a look, you're going to see uh, quotes around the string. So that indicates that we have a string of text. So you have to have a single quote at each end of your string to okay. indicate the text you actually want to display on the screen. Makes sense. Yep. Pretty straightforward, hopefully. Oh. Ah. Go away. I accidentally just uh, I hit the wrong key to get rid of my little uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, things all over the screen. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wrong tool. Using the wrong thing to get little my little pen marks all over the screen. Now, I was mentioning that Python is a fairly forgiving language. And one of the things that's really nice about it is the single quotes that I was showing you there. Python also allows you to do a print statement with double quotes if you want. So if you take a glance at the slide, you can see I can also use double quotes to enclose the string I want to display on the screen. Okay. Python doesn't care. So if you like single quotes, go with single quotes. If you like double quotes, Go, go with double, double quotes. quotes. All right. Nice and simple. So let's just do a little example. Let me tell you all about the capybara, Christopher. Yes, tell me about the capybara. All right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to create another project. File, new project. I'm going to select the programming language Python, project type Python application, and this is going to be our module two. Uh, displaying text. So I'm going to displaying text. Okay. I'm save that in there, so that way, if people want to see these code examples later, it's easy for them to find it. Perfect. And I already have a basic print statement here, but we've already done hello world. So I'm going to change that statement to say the capybara, capybara. is the world's largest rodent. I don't know if you're aware of that fact. I did. It is. So it it's is. an R O U S. A rodent of unusual size. Excellent okay. Princess Bride reference there, Christopher. And Thank you. Score one. I actually recognized one of Christopher's movie <laughs> references. Uh, and then I can spell uh, the capybara uh, likes to live in groups. Okay. Yeah. So uh, live in groups. Uh, see, I'm making typing mistakes already. Uh, now I did mention you could use double quotes if you prefer. So I could also specify that the capybara um, can swim. So it actually goes on water and land. Right. So once I have my print statements, like I said, I can use single quotes or the double quotes. Then I go ahead and I launch my program, and we can see the output displayed on the screen to the user. So okay. Nice and hopefully nice and straightforward. Okay, so that's how we print basic text. Now, one of the things you'll notice is I did print out multiple lines of text. You can see that. Uh, first of all, the single, whoops, I think I went ahead one. That's strange, I seem to be missing a slide. Um, but you can see I can use multiple print statements to print text mm -hmm. across multiple lines. Now, the other question that comes up is because I can choose between single quotes and double quotes, does it matter which I use? What do you think, Christopher? Does it actually matter if I use single or double quotes? Well, you're asking me the question, so I'm going to go with a yes there. <laughs> well, well, well played, my friend. Thank well you, played. thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look at this example on the slide here. What if you want to print a string that says, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood? Well, here's the interesting aspect of that particular string. If you were to enclose that string inside single quotes, right. then the problem is, it's has a single quote in the string. So what ends up happening is, when you are using the tool is Python is going to think that the string ends here because it sees that quote. That's not a good thing. No. So in this situation, because I'm actually using a single quote inside the string, mm -hmm. I have to use double quotes when close it. Okay. If I had a double quote somewhere inside the string, then right. I would use, go for it, Christopher. If single quotes. Correct. Yes. If there is a double quote inside my <laughs> string, I'm going to use single quotes to enclose the full string. So that's uh, so I can choose that one either way. Uh, it's going to erase my ink. There we go. <laughs> All right. So if there's a string you're displaying and it contains a single or double quote, that is going to force you to choose one or the other. But otherwise, I would say, and we were talking about good habits to develop. Get in, pick one. Yep. And, 
pick one and stick with it. Don't write half your program with single quotes, the rest of your program with double quotes, because somebody's going to come and look at your code later and go, well, is it significant that here you use single quotes versus double quotes? And it can be confusing for, for yourself when you're trying to remember later, or for someone else who's trying to understand your code. Exactly. So do generally pick one and stick with it. All right. Now, if I, here was my slide. I was looking, what if I want the text to actually appear on multiple lines? Uh, you can use multiple print statements. That's actually, it's funny. We just had a question about that. So it's oh, did we? Awesome. Yeah. So I can use multiple statements, do one print, another print. Or another way of doing it is I can actually insert a slash N. This is a backslash. Um, and this backslash symbol is a special character that Python recognizes. And it basically says, hey, I've got a, like a command I want to sneak in here. Right. And backslash N means I want to insert a new line. There's also a backslash T, which would insert a tab if you wanted to indent something. Okay. Um, also can be useful. So if you prefer to type everything on one line, you can just insert that backslash N in the code, and that will insert a new line right in it. So if you take a look at the slide here, you can see that my output, hickory dickory dock, appears on the first line, right. and in the output, the mouse ran up the clock shows up on the second line. And there is another really funky trick, and I have never seen this in any other programming language. <laughs> Python actually allows you to enclose a string inside triple quotes. Okay, then. You ever seen that one before, Christopher? I have not. That's, uh, that's relatively <laughs> unique. It is. Um, but the triple quotes, and it can either be triple single quotes or triple double quotes. Okay. But when you do this, you can actually write your print statement over as many lines as you want inside Visual Studio, and it will appear on the output the same way you typed it into the editor. Okay. So, kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look. I'm just going to do a couple of examples inside Visual Studio of, of how that would work. So I can say uh, print. Apparently, if I can type, I can type print. <laughs> uh, so let's try the new line approach. Uh, yep. Let's see. The capybara uh, lives in slash n, and it's the backslash, not the forward slash. Backslash. So yes. upper left, lower right. Yeah, America. So it lives in South America. Oops. I can't mix up single quotes and double quotes in one line of code. That right. would be a bad idea. <laughs> By the way, um, so one of the things that came up in, in the chat window yes. is what would happen if I wanted to print out a string yep. that had both a single quote and a double quote? Oh, okay. Let's, um, let's, after we get this, let's try that. Okay. We'll, uh, All we'll right. solve that little problem. Okay. All right. That's an excellent All right. question, but we will, we will do take a look at that. Okay. So here I can see the... Capybara lives in South America. You can see that going across for two lines. Okay. So yep. we've got that successfully working. And just as an example of um, this is the strangest way to print over multiple lines I know, which is this mysterious triple quote system. So it's perfectly valid. It does work. Um, but it's a little unusual. It's, it's yep. not typical of most programming languages. Most of them will use either an escape character like the slash n or use multiple statements to print over the multiple lines. Right.